Hello. Yes, Nigel Farage is spot on. Spot on in attacking Jared Batten and his association with Tommy Robinson. You see, Nigel Farage has been sitting on the sidelines and he's been watching everything and he's a clever man, Nigel Farage. He brought us Brexit, remember? But anyway, uh, he's been watching on the sidelines and he's been watching the spectacle of Henry Bolton and his toxic love affair with Joe Marley. Now, Mr Farage, whether or not you want to believe that was just that, a toxic love affair that got out of hand, right, that brought Henry Bolton down and got kicked out of UKIP. Or you want to believe, like I believe, right, that it, he's been working for the secret state, for the security services, last job for Queen and Country, another ex-copper, uh, say no more. If you want to believe it's all an accident, all a coincidence, then be my guest. But everything I predict comes true. It's like when Jared Batten took over UKIP and I made a video down there below somewhere. Is UKIP in safe hands? Part two, part three, I can't remember. And lo and behold, what happens? Jared Batten, if you want to believe it's just bad choices, Mr. Farage, then be my guest. He starts associating with Tommy Robinson, which is the worst thing any political leader could do. UKIP has elected officials, it's a populist mainstream party with mass support. The last thing you'd want to do is associate with him, wouldn't you? All Tommy Robinson has brought the table from, from June 2009 to the present day is violence and confrontation. He has achieved zilch. All he's actually achieved is associating the anti-Islamic, anti-immigrant cause with violence and confrontation. He's chasing... Uh, Muslim groomers outside courts and he's now in jail. He is not someone a mainstream party would be campaigning on behalf of. Free Tommy! Be the last thing you'd be doing. So Nigel Farage sitting on the sidelines has been watching, right? Let me just say this to you, Mr. Farage. I know you'd be watching and I'm honoured as well. I'm honoured. Uh, you probably haven't understood the forces that are out to destroy this country when you first formed UKIP. You're probably learning now, given Theresa May, Vincent Price is going to betray us, right? Or just total incompetence is going to balls it all up, I don't know. Uh, you probably do now a, a lot more than what you probably did when you first uh, formed UKIP so many years ago, right? You're probably understanding now, well, I hope you are, and the fact You've made this statement regarding uh, Jared Batten's association with Tommy Robinson. If you don't believe me, at the very least, at least you're awake, aren't you? You're understanding. You can see that the association with Tommy Robinson s spells suicide for you. But let me just predict this, Mr. Farage. If I'm wrong, then Jared Batten will continue as a good leader of UKIP and lead it to victory and success. But he's not going to do that. He's going to do what Henry Bolton done. I made a video regarding Henry Bolton. Is UKIP in safe hands? And lo and behold, what happened? Well, exactly, we know what happened, right? And it keeps happening, doesn't it? And it's all a coincidence. It's all an accident, you see. There are powerful forces at work, Mr Farage, that are stopping any patriotic, populist, British nationalist party from stopping them destroying this country, right? And on the whole of Europe, right? They are at work now as I speak. Hope not hate Nick Lowell's Jerry Gable's Searchlight magazine. They're the two criminal proxies of the security services, MI5, without a doubt. Henry Bolton, he worked for the secret state. I believe Steve... Stephen Wolfe was another one, I don't believe that, uh, the way he was just lying on the floor, he just needed the chalk round him off one of them Einstein movies where you see a dead body on the floor and the chalk round it and whatever at the, the beginning of the programme, was it Einstein, something like that anyway. And also Jared Batten's association with Tommy Robinson. Nothing could be worse for you, Kip, but at least you're wide awake, Mr. Farage. And you've spotted this. Whether or not you believe Joe Owens is right, I don't really care. I know I am right. And everything I say always comes right, doesn't it? Everything. 
Is you keeping safe hands? I could do another one. Is you keeping safe hands? Bar four, bar five. And I'll be proven right because there are forces out there that see you, you keep, and any other mainstream populist patriotic party. They see you standing in the way of what they intend to do to this country and it's destroy it. The security services, they're paid by whatever government's in power. It doesn't matter to them. They're just getting paid a wage, a wage and they'll do what they're told to do. Hope not hate Nick Lowe's, Jenny Gable's Safe Life magazine. They're criminal proxies. I believe the spies are handed over to them. So they're not bound by any laws or regulation or police and criminal evidence act or go to practice. And them swines can do what they want. Right? They, they've destroyed British nationalism. We've been against, we're, these forces have been working against British nationalism since I can remember, since I joined the once mighty National Front in 78, even well before then, right? But that's what's happened once British nationalism was out the way, i.e. the BMP, Nick Griffin, then it was time to set their sights on UKIP then, which they're doing. Henry Bolton was another MI5 agent and I believe Jared Batten is another one. But you know if I'm wrong, then I'll be proven wrong. But if I'm right, I'll be proven right once again. But well, well said, Nigel Farage. Okay, thank you.